The ever-growing African community in the United Emirates also means that more opportunities will open for the consumption of African content. This has catalyzed a growth in the presence of African filmmakers, including Nollywood in the Middle East country. Our correspondent, Mayowa Digoke, brings this next report from the African film community engagement in Dubai. Do enjoy. <laughs> African film practitioners, enthusiasts, and hopefuls joined the Johnson star Yinka Pierce Tijani, Abu Dhabi based filmmaker Olabi Siankibino, and Jennifer's Diary star Emeka Okoye at the first ever African film community meeting in Dubai. Um, the reason I took this mic, I want to talk about opportunity. The idea is to build a pool of African talent and carve a niche in the local film industry. I'm looking for people I can collaborate with, people we can trust our ideas, you know. There's just so much out there in this world and I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry to execute these dreams and dreams are connected to everyone. So yeah, I came here for that kind of connection. You can never say you don't have time. That's an excuse. The industry is growing and it's growing in different, you know, everyone is doing their thing on this side. But I think if we all came together, like the way Danny has been a bit consistent lately with what he's doing. So just, you know, go on, keep, keep showing up for the events. No one will come looking for you in your house for sure. This is Aaron Instagram. Make sure you're following the right people. Three ladies can be here right now, asked to play the same character but it will be interpreted in three different ways. So it then goes to the director and um, the artistic director to determine who best fits this role, who embodies it the most, and that was pretty much what happened. For the Johnsons, it happened like that. I got on through audition and um, I was called, I think I was on another project when I got that call. Award-winning screenwriter Nicole Asinogo, who wrote Rattlesnake and Living in Bondage 2, stresses the importance of storytelling and authenticity. Never watched a Nigerian film with a heist, and I've never done God in a number of us. So I had to unlearn my Western filtering because I grew up watching Western and I think with Nollywood, we have a lot of people who have good intentions, but they don't realize that they're copying. And when you're watching something and people are copying, you can tell that it's not authentic. So I think we have a lot of learning to do as writers, as filmmakers, and just come from a more honest place. If this is a story, can you make a change? This budding community already has the attention of key personalities in the entertainment and lifestyle industry, including filmmaker Vikas Bhargavas, serial entrepreneur Joe Sawaye, and Grammy-nominated producer Roger Ryan. Sometimes inspiration is not when you're at the top of the mountain. Inspiration is when it's really low and there's a dark place, and that's when you get inspired to write, to come up with the next story, the next screenplay. It, it, it comes from your experience, so don't wait for the sun to shine to be inspired. So the next thing is to do exactly what we gather here for, which is to build a community of African filmmakers and film lovers uh, to see how we can bring out films, bring out uh, productions that will portray Africa uh, to people and in the, in the right uh, limelight, to put Africa up, out there, to let people see what we're all about, to see that they we're so wonderful, loving, good people. And uh, this is actually what I'm looking forward to. In this small gathering lies the potential to create a bigger platform that will support African filmmakers on the continent interested in Dubai and the Middle East at large.